everyone, today I'm going to be doing a watercolor painting, and yeah, it's kind of special. Um, well, for starters, I would try my best to use a reference and like make the painting look a little bit like the reference, and I just showed the references on the screen. And the first one is the one I use for her face, and the second one is the one I use for her hair. And yeah, I just really wanted to do a watercolor painting that looked nice, <laughs> basically. And I started off with a pencil sketch, which I didn't record. I wanted to like really be able to focus on the pencil sketch and not have any distractions and not have to worry about like getting my head in the way and stuff so yeah i did that first and actually this whole thing is kind of inspired by an artist on instagram um her name is amy core i think <laughs> i hope i'm pronouncing that correctly um but she does these really cool watercolor paintings and she also posts her um pencil sketches and the pencil sketches look like the pencil sketches could stand alone as a as a piece, but then of course she uses the watercolor over top of it, and it just looks really, really cool and really nice. And that was inspiring, so I decided to kind of do something similar to that, which I unintentionally did something like this a little while ago, where I was doing watercolor painting, and I, I don't know how I forgot to do the line art. I just did, and I don't, I, I, I don't know how that happened, but. It did happen, and I mean, it turned out okay. I mean, it, it was okay. So I kind of was inspired by this artist, and then also was like, well, I've done this before, even though it was by accident, so let me do it again. And it's basically how this whole thing came about. And I also wanted to just spend more time on this painting because normally I'm just, I work really fast. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Well, sometimes it's a good thing, like, if I just want to, like, for YouTube videos, sometimes I <laughs> procrastinate and then I have to, well, I don't have to, I do it for fun, but if I want to keep to the schedule that I have created for myself, then sometimes I kind of have to just something really quick. And, I mean, in a way, it's good because now I learn. I know how to work quickly, but at the same time, um, I I don't know. I just don't put as much work into a piece sometimes, and I don't use as much detail as I could at times. Um, and I don't know. I just wanted to change that just a little bit. So that's what I did. So. Um, the first thing I did was I did the sketch, then I did a wash of color over her face. I also did that differently. Usually I'll do like a flat color over the entire face and then I'll like add stuff, like go over it with like a blush color and shadows and stuff. But this time I added the blush first and then I added like some yellow ochre at the, the top of her forehead and then on her chin and stuff. And then I added shadows and kind of like blended them out and I really like how it turned out and I, I'm glad I did that because um, when I do my watercolor stuff I usually just, I kind of just do it how I normally do it. I don't know if this is making any sense but I just wanted to try something different and put more effort into my painting and I wanted it to look nice and I wanted it to look kind of semi-realistic and also kind of like the reference. I had the reference pulled up on my computer and I was constantly referring back to it and making sure I captured the image properly even though it doesn't look exactly like the reference but it still looks nice I think. And another thing I did differently is I went over the end result I guess it wasn't the end result, end result, because I wasn't done with it, but after I finished painting, I went over some areas with a, I think it was an ivory polychromos pencil. It wasn't a white one. It was some type of cream color. And I just like added some shinies to her 
forehead and her cheeks and stuff. And I also, like normally when I finish a painting or any type of drawing, I'll just add like some highlights on the nose and in the eyes, but this time I added some elsewhere because I just want it to be fancy. That's, yeah, I'm just looking back at some of my old stuff. Well, it's not that old, but usually I'll just put like two shiny bits on the nose, some shiny bits in the eyes and in the, on the mouth. But even, even the mouth, I, I colored that a bit differently than I normally would. And I don't know, I guess the main idea of this whole thing is to try different stuff and to go out of your comfort zone. Because sometimes when you do that, cool things happen. And I mean, this painting, it doesn't really look like, but it looks like it's in my style, but at the same time it doesn't because this is not the type of thing I generally do, even though I sometimes do more detailed watercolor stuff that I spend more time on and but even those they don't look like this so what is this is my style evolving is it changing what is going on here I don't even know um also another thing I did is well I think in the last video I talked about wanting to experiment with backgrounds this one I didn't really I don't know I didn't really do that. I kind of just put the color back there and because I didn't want it to be just white and I mean it looks nice how it is. It looks fancy and stuff. Yeah and also another thing that I liked about this is I combined two reference photos. Normally when I want something to be quote unquote heavily referenced I will just look at one reference photo but this time I looked at two because I like the face of one of the, the first reference that I showed, but you couldn't really see her hair, and I was like, oh my goodness, what am I gonna do? And um, I remembered I had saved a different reference photo on my Pinterest, and I really like the hair in it, so that's why I mashed the two together, and I created this, and I think it was fun. Also, another thing is, well, this is something I struggled with, um, capturing the skin tone of the reference photo. Because um, her skin was a lot cooler, cooler in terms of color, um, than what I ended up creating. And I think I talked about this last week as well, um, how I lean more towards... Did I talk about this? No. I think I mentioned this on my Instagram. I'm sorry. Anyway, um, when I color skin, I lean more towards reds and warmer colors. And the reference that I used, her skin was a little on the cooler side, but then she had like some, some warmness going on in her cheeks. And um, to try to capture that I used um, well I mixed a purple in with my brown color and um, I don't know it was looking kind of off so then I went over it with washes of an orangier color but then that ended up making of course the whole thing oranger than I had anticipated um, but overall I think this was really fun and it was a really nice experiment to do and I want to do more stuff like this and this is the finished painting and I really like it and I'm really excited to try more stuff like this because this is really fun. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you didn't mind this rambly thing I did today. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please enjoy the rest of your day. Bye!